Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Vince Gabriel T. Delisay, and today it is with great pleasure that I am presenting my Maker's Fair project to all of you. What I have made for my project is a homemade water filter. It is a simple invention that can have a noticeable impact on people's lives. It is simple and easy to make with even kids being able to do it, but it has many practical uses. What can help when you are out of water, such as having no water in your home or you're outdoors and have no water bottles, is my water filter. Though you may think this is all talk, but people who have gone outdoors know it is hard to find clean source of, sources of water, such as rivers. And if you know how to build it, a simple water filter is really easy to make. While my invention isn't as good compared to water filters that use the sun to turn water into water vapor, and takes a long time to get a bottle of water, my water filter is much faster and can be used to filter out dirt and other contaminants such as small rocks. It is made by using any bottles, cottons, cloth or coffee filter, gravel, and sand, which can all be found in our homes and places like the kitchen and our backyards. What filters out the dirt is the cloth or coffee filter. And it is the cotton that helps the cloth or coffee filter to clean up the dirt. The fine or coarse sand helps hold the dirt that passes by while the gravel holds the bigger dirt and rocks. It is the bottle that holds the water and is the base of all these components and it is the sole most important component as without it, the whole thing wouldn't work. You can make this by cutting the bottle in half and what you need to use is a knife or a cutter. After that, you will add about two to three cottons on the tip of your bottle. Then you will add the cloth filter around the cup of the bottle and make sure that it is tightly stuck. They're using el elastic bands and such. You can even use a rubber band. After this, you will add about a handful of gravel inside the water bottle and then add another cloth or coffee filter on top of it and make sure that it is as flat as possible. The next step will be adding sand on top of the filter and what you need to insert again is the coffee or blood filter. After this, you will repeat these steps and add a handful of two of grab or more gravels and inserting another coffee filter and adding more sand and you repeat this until you are satisfied. And prefer preferably having three or four filters, though there is no harm in adding more. What we have right now is a homemade water filter. Again, my name is Vince Gabriel Didalisay, and thank you for listening.